Listen up, class, okay? <laughs> because here at the J. Hud Show, it's Abbott Elementary Week. <laughs> Listen, all week long, we have been joined by the incredible cast. And the fun continues today. I'm talking about Ms. Cheryl Lee Ralph is in the house. Chris Perfetti is in the house as well. Listen, I, yeah, give him some love. I love the show, and I love them both in the show. So I'm ex so excited to chat with them in a little bit. But I have to say, Abbott Elementary Week reminds me of thinking back to when I was in elementary school. Yes, and as you know, I met my absolute best friend in the sixth grade when we were 11 years old. And we, to this day, we still spend each and every day together. Yes, Mr. Walter Williams. I call him my Wally B, my Jolly Wally, my Fadunta Dunt, my Singing Wally. That is my best friend. My mama used to say, I don't know about that one, but that Walter's all right with me. <laughs> and my mama was right, y'all. Okay, listen, I have so many throwback memories. That's Walter over here hiding in this corner. He's really shy. <laughs> and y'all should have seen the way, like, we walked around the school together through the hallways. And you know what? Come on over here, Walter. Let's give him a little <laughs> to do soon. Look at him. Show you. No, you on this side. You on the right oh, side, because you know okay. I'm right-handed. Okay. I, I don't know why I used to do this, why I used to put my hand in Walter's shirt like this. <laughs> I must say, he been the same height <laughs> <laughs> since the sixth grade. You remember what we meet in, music class? Yeah, it was music class. You had transferred in. I had transferred in? Because mm -hmm. you had been there all, look, your whole... Mm-hmm. All your grace, and we, all, we always lived a block apart. You know, you can meet some of your best friends in life that young in grammar school. Why are my glasses fogging up? Your glasses fogging mm -hmm. up? This is Walter Young. <laughs> and then you heard me sing in music class, right? Right. Tell the people. You tell them. Oh, you want me? <laughs> he don't like talking. This is Walter all day long. We did have a song, though. We used to have a song that we learned in music class. You want to sing mm -hmm. it from? This is in sixth grade, and Mr. Rivers taught it to us, right? Yep. Okay, go ahead. Well, you had it on your overalls, and you was flooding. You every know day. what? You, you talking to uh, me. Okay. okay. <laughs> Free your glasses. Come on, okay. I'll wipe it all off right. for you. Sing the song. Ella who yell. yell. <laughs> Keeping hope alive. <laughs> Ella, Ella who yell. yell. Learning, Learning for a life. life. Oh. Get the lyrics Come on, right. baby, you okay. know the words. Here we are, we yell, going through the years. Learning from each other, mending our fears. We're all in this together with the notion to become this one through love and devotion. Hallelujah, keep the hope alive. Hallelujah, learning to survive. Yay! All right. Now he's sweating. Can I Walter, go now? Walter don't like attention. Mm -mm. Lord, you done sweated your face off. Okay, you go on right. the class. All, all right. right. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna this go thing. Y'all give Walter a hand. <laughs> <laughs> he is very shy. I'm so proud of you, friend. Okay, that makes me want to get this show started. It don't get no realer than that. Y'all ready to do this? <laughs> it's time to get this class started. Here to help us. Celebrate another day of Abbott Elementary Week. Give it up for the very funny and talented Shirley Ralph and Chris Perfetti. Come on out. right in. Hi, darling. Hi, how are you? I am so happy. It is ridiculous. Mm. I am looking at you just shining and glowing every day. <laughs> and I am happy for you. Oh, my God. I'm 
I'm so happy you are here. Do y'all get this energy? She like, has a tendency to do this. Uh, this like, is amazing. Yeah, it's great. Wow. I hang out mm -hmm. with her. Uh, oh my goodness, we all love hanging out with you and we Thank love having you. her here. You both here. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Now, it's nice to meet you, Chris. It's great to meet you. This is wonderful, and thank you again for being back here, because the last time you were here was right when you won your fabulous Emmy for your well-deserved performance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Woo, what is it? <laughs> How does it feel to watch the rest of your cast receive such recognition? I, you know, and I say this often, I honestly get to work with the best cast on TV mm -hmm. with some of the best people. Yes. And the fact that we are, we're doing something every day, every day that is having a major effect on the world and the education of all of our children. And we do it together. And yes. it's wonderful. Yes. Yeah. And I always say, if one of us shines, we all shine. You all shine. Yeah. And you are shining so bright, honey. Yes, you are. <laughs> y'all been, speaking of which, y'all been killing it on the red carpets with your fashion and your style. And I hear, I heard your daughter is your stylist. I didn't know that. Yes, my daughter Ivy is my stylist. And it's interesting, you know, education costs so much. Mm -hmm. I didn't waste a dime you on did. her education. <laughs> <laughs> but with you as a mother, she has to stay motivated. Thank you, and she is good. Ooh, that dress came in and she just said, let's work it, mommy, let's do it. Yes. Look at that. And she puts it together from head to toe. She sees the hair, she sees the makeup, mm -hmm. she sees the clothing. That's her, look at her. Beautiful, too. Thank you. Gorgeous. Thank you. And you have such variety in your, like, fashion and your style. Like, what inspires your Emmys look, Chris? Ah! Yes. Who is that handsome man? <laughs> yes! Ah, it's you, baby. I wonder yes. if he's single. <laughs> he's um, single. I don't know. A lot inspires me. Honestly, Cheryl inspires me. I understand. Um, you know, no offense to Jacob Hill, the character I play, but he has terrible style. And so <laughs> I relish these opportunities, yeah. you know? Our cast, we love to turn a look. We love to party. We really do. We love mm. to show people. Yeah, I love, love that. Look so at that. Well. That's the style other right side. there. Tell Everybody us about loved this it. moment. What was the inspiration? You know, I'm really inspired by this man named Brian Javar right mm -hmm. now. And wherever he wants to go, I kind of want to go with him. And, I like how you said And that. when you recognized a genius or, or somebody who you think you know, has got it. You gotta see what they're about. You have to give an artist uh, an opportunity to bloom in front of you, as many people did for me. <laughs> and so, um, for me right now, that's that's Brian. And and I would never ever in my life think of doing that on my own. Um, but you know, it is so good. I love it. Thanks. I love it so mm -hmm. much. Thank that you. That expression is awesome. You owned it. That is for sure. Thank you. And then, back to you, Ms. Cheryl. Yes. You went to, like, this fabulous event, big event, with Ms. Beyonce. Tell us about it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, you, you, this was your first time meeting her, too, huh? That was my, this was my first time meeting her. I get invited to um, sing at the Super Bowl last yes. year. Yes, yes. And then they had the gold ball. And mm -hmm. at the Gold Ball, it's the kind of place that you can walk into and you can see anybody. And they're just there enjoying themselves. <laughs> but here comes Beyonce and she's golden. You know how she does Oh, it. I know. Oh, honey, please. She is just gold. And I'm just like, oh, my God, look at this woman. Yeah. <laughs> but she comes over and she introduces yes. herself like I don't know is Beyonce. <laughs> And then she looks at my son, she looks at Etienne, and she says, and you are so handsome. Ooh, did he pass up? My poor son just <laughs> melted into a bottle. <laughs> and he's just standing there looking at the golden image. And when she walks away, he's like, Mom, she said I'm handsome. <laughs> it was crazy. I loved that moment for him. Oh, it was Man, a good one. I'm, That's Etienne. He is gorgeous. And then you went to the Renaissance concert, Chris, and your castmates, they are very supportive. Let's show it. Hey, Darling. walk and look. Yeah, you better me. walk. <laughs> Greatest day of my life. What were you feeling? What were you thinking? Like, what was your inspiration for your look in that moment and going to Renaissance? Because I know that was an event. 
Yeah, it's just like, it's something I will never forget. It was an epic night. It was definitely the best concert I've ever mm, seen. That sounds amazing. I love the Hermes inspiration, the black and the white horse. Love that it's coat. fabulous, yes. You did the thing. Will y'all stick around for a little bit? Oh, absolutely. All right, Morgan Shaw and Chris. We'll be right back. Yes, congratulations. Abbott Elementary is renewed for a fourth season. <laughs> Touch me, baby. Yeah. Did that. Was it like this when you found, when you guys found out, like, okay, season four. How oh, my gosh. Feel? I'm just looking forward to season 10. Yes. 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 You yes. know, I can see it happening, but I'm just so excited. What about you? Let's finish three first. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited right. for season 10, too. Okay, no, okay. it's always, it's like, this is by far the greatest job I've had. And so I'm so excited to make more of it. <sighs> yes. And I love, I love the way the audience interacts with us. Yeah. Even in our real life, they want us to know, especially teachers. Teachers feel so good and so happy that we're talking about education in a way that gives them the respect that they deserve. Mm -hmm. And yes. thank you. Yes. And they do deserve it. They really do. Mm -hmm. Do you take anything from them and use it in your character at all? I think that for my character, I represent for a lot of people that teacher that they never will forget. Mm. The one that really believed in them, the one that pushed them to believe in themselves. And I hear about people's favorite teacher all the time. Yes. And I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that, I love that. And it's amazing, right? Let's talk about Barbara's iconic wig. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> this wig. Tell us about that. It's like a character. The wig is a character. <laughs> the wig, people will come up to me and they will talk about the fact that, you know, my mother has that wig. <laughs> <laughs> the first lady in church has that wig. Oh my, God. my favorite teacher had that wig. Somebody came up to me and said, everybody in Memphis has that wig. <laughs> I was just like, oh my goodness. And then they want to give me hints like, you need to pull it down in the back. And I'm like, no. are you giving me quotes <laughs> on the wig? Le leave the wig alone. <laughs> oh my God, it's just a job. Yes. But th they love the wig. It's having its own life and I do love the wig. You're wearing it well, baby. Thank it you. looks good on you. Thank you. Christy, you come with all of this personality, but your character has a... Uh, like an awkward personality, like awkward socially. Like, what is it like playing that part? What is it like playing someone who struggles socially, yes. who's <laughs> awkward socially? I, I wouldn't know. Um, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a blast, you know? I feel like they have sort of baked in all of Jacob's, um, all, of, all of the fun of this character is sort of right on the surface. He really struggles to, you know, not fail publicly and he's tripping over his words and he's overextending himself and he's sort of like a clown to me and and I just find that as an actor so fun to play all of the obstacles are kind of you know right in front of you and and he's very well meaning and mm -hmm. and I love how positive he is um, I feel like I'm typically cast as these sort of like tragic brooding characters and so I love that Jacob is the complete opposite of that. He's got real hope and enthusiasm and mm -hmm. and love, but but he's he's a goofball, you know, he's a he's kind of like a puppy dog. So <laughs> I, I I'm just having the time of my life. Oh, and working melanin. with him uh -huh. is wonderful. You know, Chris is one of the kindest, nicest warmest human beings ever. Mm. And I love when I go to work and he'll look at me and he'll say, hello, gorgeous. Aww. And it's just, he really, you know, he means, yes. he means that in the most loving way. And I love working with you every day. Yes. Chris. You're a good guy. Yes. <laughs> look at all that personality. Um, you better work. That's it for me. This is like Beyonce and Etienne. This is like when somebody says something like that to you, that's like, okay, I can retire now. Thank wow. you for saying that. I, I love you. I, I, I find it very uh, easy and, and a true honor to be around you. So it's very nice to be uh, uh, complimented by you because I, I just think the world of you. Thank you. 
Got and that. all of that translates in you all show. And I think yeah. that's a huge reason why it resonates with everyone. And it's so fabulous because the, it's in the work you guys do and we can feel it. Yeah. Now, while I have you guys here, you know, I have a, a class photo I would love for you guys to sign. Is oh, that all right? I would love okay. that. Okay, and yeah, we'll bring it on out. Okay. I stole it from yourself. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. I love that. Oh, look at you. I Wait, put put her in, myself a She put herself in the picture. You I see love that? that? You think I could get a room? Oh, my goodness. I don't remember you being there that day. You know, you look I'm great. being hopeful. I'm being hopeful. So, you know, you're going to run over oh, there and so sign good. for me. There you go. All right, wait, where should I sign? Oh, okay, I'll sign right Sign directly here. over my face. No! So I'm... Here we go. Yeah! <laughs> okay. I suppose I'll sign up it? here in the clouds. There we go, y'all. All right! Yeah. Yes, we are! Okay, thank you guys so much for that. We're going to put Cheryl and Chris to the test next. We'll be right back. We're back with Shirley and Chris. Now, since we're celebrating Abbott Elementary Week, we thought it would be fun to put you two to the test. So I hope you're good at spelling. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Welcome to the first annual Abbott Elementary Week Spelling Bee at the Jennifer Hudson Show. Oh, my God. Host from Team J Hood, say hi to our associate producer Casey. Come on out. Yeah. All right. Hi. Hi. How are you, babe? Hi. Let's get into this now. Shell and Chris, you will be on one team, so let's bring out who you're playing against. Okay. Mm -hmm. Please welcome 2023 Scripps National Spelling Bee Champion, 15-year-old Dev Shaw. We got this. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. We got this. Wow. No, we got this. I, that's, yeah. that's the script's winner. I've lost already. <laughs> I, I should just give you the trophy. First word. Oh okay. See the competition. Before. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad there's you, because you know how I get in these game shows. We got this. I'm, I'm not lose. worried. Okay. You got Miss Shirley Ralph, okay. like, a little nervous. Hi, Dev. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. I got a question. Do you ever get nervous? Like, uh, no. What, well, the real spelling, the national spelling, I was so nervous. The real spelling. No, no. Wow. No. <laughs> Deb. You see that? He Deb. just said. Deb. He just the said. Real. They ain't no competition. Okay. Okay. We're okay. Yeah. I'm still nervous. Oh, you you should be very nervous, Dad. Nervous, Dad. No, 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 no. Very nervous. <laughs> Ah! can spell. First word. Order in the classroom, order in the classroom. Okay, so y'all ready? Here's how the competition will go. Yeah. Casey and I will read off a word, and when it's your turn, you try your best to spell it, okay? If you spell the word right, you get a point. But if you spell it wrong, the other team will get a chance to try and steal the point. Oh, y'all got that? Shirley and Chris, oh, you are first. Oh, and no you can give them their first Bert. word. Okay, Here we yes. go, guys. No pressure. Cheryl and Chris, your yes. first word is flabbergasted. F L A B B E R G A S T E D. I know she did. All right. Wow. Let them know. Thank you. That was yes. Yes. Well, that was right. Okay, Dev, your word is scrumptious. Scrumptious. S C R U M P T I O U S. That is correct. That's right. Right now it's a tie. You get a point, okay? Okay, guys, here we go. Car. Your word is not car, but Pennsylvania. Oh, you got it. Go ahead. P. E. N N S Y L V A N I A. Yes! Yes! We got 
gonna raise the stakes. That was really excellent. Ooh, okay. Can we get shorter words. All right. <laughs> All right. We're gonna space it up a bit. For All right, Dev. we gotta raise the game a little bit. Come on, Dev. Let's let's see what we got, Cassie. Okay, Dev. Your word is fluorescent. Fluorescent. Uh, okay. Can I have the definition? Sure, sure. The definition is um, bright lights. Okay. F L U O R E S C E N T. That is correct. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Were you holding your breath, Chris? You were holding your breath. Yeah. Okay. Serious. Cheryl and Chris, your next word is tambourine. Oh. T. A. <laughs> M. B. O. U. R. I. N. E. Yes! <laughs> you ain't never heard a world spelled like that. Tambourine. Tambourine. All Ready. right, okay. Dev, your next word is toupee. Uh, can I have all the Can I have the definition? You want me to use it in a sentence for yeah. you? Okay, great. When there is a large gust of wind, a man might need to hold on to his toupee. Okay, uh, toupee. Um, okay. T O U P E E. Toupee. That's correct. Good job. Okay, this is getting serious, guys. Here we go. Your next word is kaleidoscope. What? <laughs> he gets toupee and we get kaleidoscope? <laughs> I'm sweating. I really think you got this. Kaleidoscope? I don't even know what the first letter is, Cheryl. Come on. It's not calliope. No, it's not. Kaleidoscope. I'm kaleidoscope. I'm going to say K. Oh, uh, come on now. A. Mm -hmm. L. D E Kali K A L I E I I E I I E What is it? Not telling you. Not telling you. You cannot phone any friends. E or I Kali K A L L I E D S C O P E. I am so sorry. No! Dev has a chance to steal. No. Dev, you got a chance to steal. K-A-L-E-I-D-O-S-C-O-P-E. -E. Oh. Switch the E and I. E-I, not I-E. Okay. He said switch the E and I. Oh my God, Dev, you are our winner. I got you a little something just for you. But y'all were fabulous. Y'all were fabulous. Y'all were fabulous. That was awesome. Elementary airs Wednesdays at 9 p.m. on ABC. We'll be right back. You better work, young man. Okay, welcome back, y'all. Now, I know that you know that I love an excuse to celebrate, okay? Well, the stars have aligned. It's airy season, so it is time for to give a shout out to all the birthdays in the game, and I like to call this game, Oh Baby! <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm gonna show you a baby picture of a famous Aries. And y'all, please help me. You're gonna have to help me figure out who it is, okay? Y'all ready? Like, I mean, for real, I have no idea who it's gonna be. And I am depending on you. Here's our first baby. Hmm. Okay, here's a hint. This musical Chicago baby has number one hits, but he prefers the number three. So who is it? Who you say? Okay. Oh, Chance the Rapper. Is it Chance the Rapper? Now y'all gotta do better now. I did that on my own, come on now. Okay, okay, his birthday is on the 16th, so I hope it's a great one, Chance. You know we love you here at the Happy Place. Happy birthday. Okay, I'm gonna really need y'all help with this one, all right? <laughs> Who is this baby? She's grown up now but this future queen of Christmas will always be my baby. Y'all think that's Mariah Carey? Justin Bieber? Okay. It's Mariah Carey? Girl, now you ain't show me that baby picture. Yeah, but I know that is, okay, that's MC right there. Now that slipped right past me, okay, yep. I do know she's an Aries baby. Her birthday is March 27th. No. Anniversary. She likes it to be called anniversary. So happy belated anniversary MC to you. Love you. Girl, they got me on that one. 
Okay, you gotta help me out, okay? <laughs> Let's guess on another baby. Oh. It's a cute baby. <laughs> Who you say? <laughs> this little guy's real name is Sean Michael Leonard Anderson. Oh, That's Anthony Anderson? That ain't Anthony. Okay, let's see him. You say T-Pain? Who? Who, who is that? Who you say? Well, honey, we need another clue. Let's see him grown in. Who is this? Big Sean? Big Sean! Hold on, let me look at him. Okay, I see him now. Okay, he just turned 36, March 25th. Well, happy birthday, baby. I'm sorry, I didn't recognize you. Okay. You had to figure it out. Who's our next baby? <laughs> Ludacris? No, he a Virgo with me, Luda. So I know that's not Luda. Okay, so this happy baby was also a coach on The Voice. Is this John Legend? Come and want no coach on No Voice. Who? Usher? Usher? Pharrell! Pharrell! Pharrell, let's see. It's Pharrell! I didn't know he was an Aries. That don't look nothing like no Pharrell. Okay, he turned 51 last week. Uh, uh, if you could, he looked so young. If you could believe it, this man just turned 51. What are you, what do we need to be drinking? Y'all, great job on guessing, everybody, and happy birthday to all the Aries babies out there. We love you, we celebrate you, and we'll be right back. Our next guest is a true testimony of triumph over tragedy. We are about to hear an incredible story about the love between a father and a daughter. From Fort Worth, Texas, please welcome Anthony and his eight-year-old daughter, Maya. Come on out. to meet you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Thank wow. you for having us. Thank you. Okay, can you tell me, how did your story start? Oh, man. Yeah, let's get into it. So, in 2014, um, football season, her mother's pregnant at the time. Mm -hmm. The boys come over, let's go watch some football. So, she gave me the green light to go, to go with the friends. So, I went with the friends and after we got done, you know, eating, watching football, we were headed uh, to my cousin's house because I was the best man of my cousin. Uh, he was getting married. So we were gonna go plan like the bachelor party and all that good stuff. So when we got done, my cousin was like, hey, we're gonna go ride after. So we'll ride you home mm -hmm. and then we'll just take off after that. So he actually said he had a, like a new subdivision to, to take me like a shortcut to get home. So I'm like, cool, let's do it. So I'm following him and a car kind of cuts me off. So I kind of get caught behind a little bit. And as I'm trying to catch up, I hit a gravel patch. I was going about 30 miles an hour. I hit a gravel patch, lost control, went from going 30 to 60, 70 in an instant. Hit the curb, it threw me up about 20 feet into the air, landed on my shoulder blades, yeah, and um, kind of blacked out. You know, I blacked out and woke up in the hospital, the doctor telling me we got some good news and bad news. And the good news is I was, I was alive and I, didn't, and I didn't have a brain injury, but the bad news is I was paralyzed from the chest down. T4 level and that I would never walk again. So uh, it was it was like a moment in my life where I was kind of had to like soak that in. Like you never, you always see it on movies or you never think it'll happen to you. But when they tell you like, you'll never walk again, it was just like, wow, mm. yeah. And what was going through your mind when, when you found that out? Yeah, I didn't even know what to think, honestly, cause I was, you know, just turned 26. Yeah. Promotion at work, you know. Got, got beautiful baby. Yeah, on the way, yeah. So I, it, it was just kind of like a, like a pause in time, like dang. Is this real? Like, it felt like a bad dream. Mm -hmm. I just never woke up out of it. It was, at that time, that's what it was. Mm. Yeah. And how long was your recovery? So the recovery, I mean, every day is a recovery. Every day is a chance to get better. But while I was in, like, rehab and, and things like that, it was about, about six months, you know, being in, in rehab with other, with other patients, some similar injuries and things like that. So being there around others is, is pretty easy to cope with. But, you know, once you get released and you get sent home, it's a whole different ballgame. No one around but you, you know, in the walls. So 
uh, it was tough, but um, yeah, we, here we are now. And that's the beautiful thing. Here you are now. You are still here. You're looking good. Thank you. I appreciate it. And then you have your beautiful baby, Maya. <laughs> oh, my God. How, you know your dad's story. Like, what does it mean to you? Um, so it makes me, like, s emotional and really sad. But I'm very proud of him because, like, he went through that. But I'm proud of him because even though he's in a wheelchair, he never lets that, like, stop or uh, he never lets people stop or anything and never lets them get in his way and he's still able to do the things he can today. Your blessing is sitting right beside yeah, you. Yeah, for sure, yeah. What was your motivation and inspiration? Like you say, you don't allow anything to stop you. You keep your spirits lifted yeah. and you've raised, a uh, raising a beautiful yeah. young lady right here. Like, what has been the thing to push you through it all? I mean, her, you know, um, when all that happened, it, it wasn't about me anymore. I knew, yeah. you know, the bigger the bigger picture was to be able to be a father for her. So I couldn't let my injury or my disability stop me from being the best father that I could be for her. So uh, anytime, you know, anytime I'm feeling down or, or anything, I just, I just look at her and that's the, all the motivation I need. Yeah. yeah. And does that inspire you seeing your father just continue to excel and be vibrant and happy and then all the love that he pours into you? Yes, it really does make me very happy. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad to be here to support him in this tough time. You are so precious. God always got somebody. You got a little angel right here. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And then the challenges you overcome. Like, what's some of the challenges you, challenges you feel you've overcome through this? And yeah, so after my injury, you know, I, I put on quite a bit of weight. You know, I was about a little over 200 pounds. And being paralyzed, you have to do a lot of transferring, you know, from, from here to there, here to the car I drive. You know, I use my hands to drive, hand controls and stuff mm -hmm. to drive. So having to do, having to, you have upper body strength to do that. So I was in the gym, I lost weight. And, uh, you know, it's, it was really one of the hardest things, like looking at myself in the mirror and not recognizing who I was anymore. I was like a shell of myself. So I uh, just got into the gym, learned to love myself again. So I have to be able to, to love me and, and see what I see in the mirror, be happy with so I can share that onto her. So to be able to, to do all that, to, to be the best father that I could be for, for her. You're light. I can see it. Both of you are. Can you stick around for a little bit? Of course. Hang out with me. All right. More with this dad and daughter do all when we return. We'll be right back. We're back with Anthony and his lovely daughter, Maya. Now, it's been 10 years since your accident. Um, what has life been like for you now? It's been amazing, you know, uh -huh. uh, mentally, physically, spiritually. I'm in, I'm in a great place. You know, my daughter's healthy. She's excelling in all her extracurricular activities. But um, it's been good. But as far as, like, my personal, like, my career and whatnot, this wheelchair actually opened up doors for me to do acting and modeling and stuff. So uh, I feel like in the community, there's always, um, like, actors who play dis disabled roles that are not disabled, right? So if I can be someone to help, you know, open those doors for other people with, with disabilities to chase their dreams as well. So to be able to do that has, has been amazing. And um, I also do social media. So I do content creating and things like that. So being able to share my story as being a father, you know, letting people know you can still be a father. I lost over 60 pounds from my wheelchair. You know, I travel, I drive, like I pretty much do everything sitting down. So letting people know you can still chase your dreams, you know, like no matter what life goes yes. you, you know? Okay. So I do that, but uh, but what really hits me the most, like what, what's really the most impactful thing that I really enjoy doing is I go to the rehabilitation centers, the, the, actually the same hospital where I was at when I got paralyzed. And I talk to the newly injured patients to face-to-face to face and give them hope. You know, I take time out of my day. They don't, I don't get paid or anything. I don't care for them. It's a type of joy money can't buy, you know, helping mm -hmm. someone, saving a life. So I go there, I talk to them and let them know, like, hey, you can still do this. You yes. can chase your dreams, you can do it. So That's priceless. Uh, yeah, so just to be the hope for them and, and the motivation and inspiration, because I didn't have a guy like me, I didn't have a wheelchair poppy, right? That's yeah. my Instagram. I love that, yeah, wheelchair yeah. poppy, y'all yeah, hear yeah. that? Yeah, so I didn't have a guy like that to look to look up to, you know, whenever I was injured. It was just kind of figuring it out. So uh, that really means the world to me. And I just want to, I just want to be remembered for, you know, what I did sitting down, you know, and not for what I did standing up, so. That is powerful. Yeah. Yeah. I got chills. Yeah. And Maya, tell me this. What is like your, some of your favorite things to do with your dad? Um, my, some of my favorite things to do with my dad is like, so we can hang out with each other and we can uh, go to the movies with each other and, you know, go to restaurants with each other and hang out with each other and do things that we love with each other. She and likes spending my money. <laughs> yeah. and I like she spending likes spending his money, money is like what he said. Yeah. What do you like shopping for? A lot of toys. toys A lot of toys. Clothes, 
pretty much it. Toys and clothes. <laughs> and going to the movies, huh? Yep. I yep. love that. You just love being with your dad because he's such a hero, right? Yep. He, we think so, too. He is. Thank you guys for being here. You're so amazing. I got a little something for you. Well, we all heard you two love to go to the movies. So thanks to my friends at Fandango, they are giving you a year's supply of movie tickets to keep your tradition going. And you can wear your fancy clothes and bring your toys and you can hang out with your dad and enjoy all of those special moments together. Please keep just being the light that you are in the driving force, and you are so gorgeous. You are amazing. We all come back and see us one day. Of course. Okay. All right. We're gonna come back after I book my big role, my big movie role. Give me five. <laughs> I believe that you. Yeah. I know that you will. We'll be right back. <laughs> if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.